These masks could be the difference between an officer getting sick or staying safe. Now you may be surprised to find out who's helping to make them. Inmates in North Carolina have helped to make more than 20,000 masks that are going to law enforcement. Channel 9's Dave Faraday spoke with sheriffs who are thankful for the work to protect officers across our area. Well, we spotted one patrol car after another arriving at this parking deck in Catawba County. Right here is one of the masks that deputies will be wearing across western North Carolina. We can see sheriff deputies from Rowan, Yatkin, and Rutherford counties all making the long drive to Newton for hundreds of face masks. There are more than 21,000 masks here made by inmates trained in a variety of jobs in the prison system. They make furniture, they make highway signs, uh, they make glasses, uh, all kinds of things that they make. For the last several weeks, those inmates have been focused on making masks, first for detention officers in the North Carolina prison system, and now law enforcement officers across the state. The focus of the program is to teach inmates a skill while also providing a service to both state and local governments. Sheriffs we spoke with today say the masks are needed, even if they were surprised by the people who made them. Just a perfect example as to how we're all in this together. I mean, here we are, law enforcement, we have inmates in the prison that are making masks for us. It's a tremendous help. It really is, because we're thankful to get any masks at this point. And one of the sheriffs I spoke with earlier told me that the masks are really needed for his deputies who have so much interaction with the public every day they work. Back to you.